What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're gonna be reviewing the all new Rotogrip clone. So make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That helps the channel tremendously and I would appreciate it. And down below in the description, there's gonna be a link where you can order a clone or anything bowling related. It's a, another great way to help support the channel. And if you like the jersey I'm wearing, coolwick.com, promo code NAPOLIS10, that'll get you 10% off your entire order. All right, so let's get into some of the tech it features the cloned ET core, so it's going to be very similar to the core that was in the UFO Alert, but it's going to be slightly different. In 15 pounds is an RG of 2.51, a max differential of 0.056, which is very high, and a PSA of 0.016. So the core in this ball wants to push it down lane a little bit, and it wants to flare a lot. More flare means more hook potential. Then wrapped around that core is the OptiTrax Solid, okay, OptiTrax Solid cover stock that comes out of a box with the Reacta Gloss finish. Now, I didn't do any research, so I don't know when the last time is that we had a solid ball in the line that came polished. So that's going to be all new territory for me because I typically like my solids to be sanded. So if we don't like it polished, we will sand it, uh, knock the polish off in, in another video and see how we like it. And then no more tech here to give, but the layout on this is the same layout as in all my asymmetrical balls being 60 by four and a half by 30. And I'm looking forward to it. I, I was a really big fan of the UFO alert. I threw that ball with surface a lot and I liked it a lot, especially in regional competition. So it'll be interesting to see how this clone reacts. If it's anything close to that UFO alert that we already know we're gonna have a really good ball. So we're gonna be here on lane 63 on a mostly fresh house shot. If it does look kind of bad, because I did throw some shots with the uh, the other rotor grip ball, the Tour Dynamics, if it doesn't look all that great, I'll move to lane 64, which is a fresh house shot, but 64 hooks a ton here. So we'll see you on the lanes here at South Point. All right, so first shot here, throwing the rotor grip clone. Let's see how this looks here. Literally the first shot. Oh, it missed right by a mile. Okay, my goal was not to miss right like that. All right, I'm gonna go back to that same spot and not miss as far to the right. Let's see how this looks. Ooh, that's pretty good. All right, that was a pretty good shot. I'm gonna go to that same spot and repeat that. Let's see if I can get the same results here. Same spot. I really like this spot on the, in the on the lane so far. Let's stay aggressive here. Yeah, this ball reminds me of some old school storm balls here. Yeah, I missed in on that shot, and you guys can see just how much a dug in the middle part of the lane. Let's get this one going a little bit more right here. Oh, that's too far right. Oh my God, it almost came back. Yeah, so this is definitely not a ball that I'm gonna be creating huge angles with. Keep it a little bit more in front of us, play in the oil, even though we're further left. Like that should be really good. Oh, the late kick of the 10. All right, let's try to move right a little bit. Let's see how this looks. Basically never get this ball right. Okay, so same spot, but I'm not gonna shove it right. Let's see how this looks. Okay. All right, so I did not like that at all. I'm gonna go to the same spot, dial the tempo down a little bit, and see how this looks. Give it time to hook. That looks better, dial back the tempo. Okay, so that did not look bad at all with that lower tempo. We're gonna try that again. All 
All right, so all of a sudden this ball came to life, that lower tempo, which tells me that with surface, I should be able to yam on it. And it'd be good. So we're gonna move a little left off that nine pin. All right, so we're coming off the lanes, throwing the clone for the first time, and I will for sure be taking the polish off this ball in a separate video to see what it looks like with surface. With the polish, it's a little too clean through the fronts. It forces me to bring my tempo down, and while that does look good, when I bring my tempo down, it makes it harder to repeat shots. So we're gonna get back on the lanes, continue to chase it left, continue to keep that tempo nice and low because it does look really good when I do that. All right, going to move left to where I started, but maintaining that lower tempo because I think that's when this ball matches up best for me so far. Yeah, that looked, uh, that looked pretty good. Just gonna go back to that same spot, try to repeat that same shot. A little fast, and it came in a little light. Just gotta maintain that lower tempo. So both those shots struck, but you can see that second one, my tempo was a little too high, and it came in super light. Really gotta dial that down. That might be too slow. Oh, and it went 10 back. Wow, this bowling ball is clean because I thought that was gonna hook super early and it never did. So I'm in the right spot now for sure. Yeah, this ball's pretty nutty from this far left with the little lower tempo that I've been working on here. Oh, miss right. I think this is gonna be one of those good balls when uh, I gotta just get really, really left. I think this is when this ball's really gonna shine. Dude. Yeah, this, this is pretty good. I thought I wasn't gonna like it based on the first couple shots, but now I think I do. Oh, and then I four pin like that. Yeah, that four pin was a little brutal. I'm gonna move one left. I don't think that was too slow. I think that was just right. I just started to burn up that line. Oh, four nine. Okay, that might be too slow now. Yeah, so this is what I mean though about makes it harder to repeat shots with this lower tempo because those shots feel really good, but I mean, I'm throwing it like too slow. So let's firm up a little bit here. Woo. You can find that one on YouTube shorts. Okay, so the video could have on honestly ended there. I I'm not gonna throw a shot better than that the rest of today. So we're just gonna try. All right, a couple more shots here. Moving left here every shot. Let's see how this looks. Oh! All right, this will be the last shot of the video. This is gonna be like another four left. Hopefully I don't drift too far to the right, make a good shot, low tempo, execute and go. All right, so that might have been the fastest change from hate to like of a bowling ball I've ever done. The first group of shots, I just did not like the clone. It forced me, like when I was in my normal tempo, it looked way too clean and if I got it right at all, I never hooked. I was already thinking to myself how much I hate this ball and thinking, okay, I gotta change the surface or maybe drill another one with a different layout to see what I can do, yada, yada, yada. And I'm still going to change the surface on it because I want to see. 
But when I moved left and brought my tempo nice and low, it ended up being a strike fest and it looked really, really good. So it's just gonna be one of those balls that I put into my arsenal that's gonna be kind of more situational. Okay, I gotta get left. There's a lot of oil in the middle, so I gotta kind of slow hook it. I think this is gonna be the, the ball to do that. And in league, I think that can be a really good a really good ball for league because in league, there's a lot of oil in the middle part of the lane. And typically in league, the person who gets the furthest left the fastest typically scores really well because there's less transition. And I think that's when I think this ball can be really, really good, especially for me at lower rev rate. And I say lower rev rate, I know that my rev rate's not super low, but low compared to like Chris or whatever. It allows me to get left with Chris and keep that tempo nice and low and the ball looked really good. So guys, thank you so much for joining me in today's video. I really appreciate it. Click right here to watch another video. Click right here to subscribe. Till next time.